Hades. H A D S, the place of death. Remember, they tell you that? Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as hell. There in torment, he saw Abraham in a far distance with Lazarus at his side. So this is the safe person he saw. The rich man shouted, Father Abraham, I'll pity send, send Lazarus over here to dip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue. I am in anguish in this flame. So it's, it is like, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's like, you know, you're in a room at a distance, but you can glance over to the other side to see how they're enjoying themselves, having feasts and banquet and everything. But you're over here in flames of fire, right? And he's shouting across saying, listen, send the, 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 the poor man that was begging me and I did not help him for put for even, for putting finger in the water and carry some from tip on my tongue. So now he's, he's begging for help, but it's two different places. So one is in hell, in torment, in flames. The other one is at a place of rest where God prepared, where there are banquets and all that happening over here. So one is in tormentation and one is enjoying a banquet. It means that he is in a good place. That's what it means. I hope you get that. All right. Now, so we can conclude that the unsaved is not me saved. If you're unsaved on this life, it's not me saved. I'm reading from the Bible. Please. It said that you're going to, to Shiloh, hell, or hate. That's what it's saying in the Bible. There's no in between. So either you accept Christ or you choose to go to these places. That's what the Bible said. I did not say it is in the Bible. I'll show you it. Please go read the scripture for yourself. All right. The believer intermediate place. It says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar, which is the altar of Christ, which is the foot of the cross, like on the altar. That's what I'm saying, the altar. The souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. So they're at a place of rest. Is that it's like they're, they're in a, a place is like there is an altar, there are big altar. So as you can say, like a church setting then. And they are praying to God. They're still praying. Their soul is still praying. So they, 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 it's not like their, their soul is dead. And they are crying out to God and, and they're saying in verse 10, they're saying. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, "O oh, long, O oh, Lord, O oh, holy and true, thus, thus not judge." It, that they're saying, "This is the king." Let me convert it to English. They're saying, "O oh, long, O oh, Lord of truth, are you going to judge our enemies and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth?" They're saying they were crying to God and they were praying and saying, "Listen, God." We are waiting. We want to come home. We want to come. We want to come to that side. We want the judgment day to come for, for you to judge the wicked one them on earth will kill us so we can come over to that side. We are here waiting and we're resting. But God, we want to come home. So they are crying out to God for God to avenge. Do my vengeance. Hurry up this thing so we can come home. Because we don't want to just be here at a place of rest at this altar to set us to rest. We understand the banquet. We understand what you're enjoying ourselves. But God, we don't just want to stay here at the altar where you build for us for us to rest. We want to come to, the, to your side of the place where you say prepare for us. Let me show you what I'm talking. And they cry.